Today on We Create, we have three recipes for you. They're called Keto Fat Bombs. We have cinnamon roll, French toast, and peanut butter. Hey, I'm Wayne. And I'm Emily. In this video, we're going to create something. It might be a recipe, a crafting project, or just having a good time. Let's give our brains a break from the daily grind. Today on We Create, Keto Fat Bombs. So today we thought it would be a good idea to bring you all another recipe. What we're gonna make is called Keto Fat Bombs. And Wayne and I recently have started trying to do the keto diet. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a very low carb, high fat, and moderate protein diet. Well, whenever you're on the keto diet, the majority of your calories come from fat. And sometimes it can be extremely difficult to get that much fat in your diet. I mean, unless you just like eating sticks of butter, you know. But something else too is since you can't have carbs, you don't have a lot of sweets. So these fat bombs have a lot of fat in it, which kind of takes care of your fat uh, nutrients that you need. And they're also pretty sweet. So it kind of, you know, um, helps with your sweet tooth cravings whenever you have them. The first one we're gonna make is called a cinnamon roll fat bomb. And it's very, very simple to make. You need one thing of cream cheese, it's eight ounces. You need a stick of butter. Both your cream cheese and your stick of butter should be softened. So what you can do is you can either um, set them out for about a half an hour or so for room temperature before you start making this recipe, or you can stick it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so. You don't want it melted. You just want it softened so that it's easier to incorporate together with all the other ingredients. We're going to use a half a cup of sun butter you can also use almond butter if you'd like. I don't know if peanut butter would work, but what you're looking for is something that doesn't have a lot of added sugars. So you want something that's very like low in sugar content. I found this at Kroger. You can also find it on Amazon. And then you're also going to want to use some kind of keto friendly sweetener. And what we're going to use is monk fruit sweetener. And what's really good about this is it's all natural. It comes from a monk fruit, which I had no idea what that was until we started doing keto. Um, it also has a little bit of erythritol in it, which is also a naturally occurring um, fruit sugar. And what's really cool about this is it doesn't spike your insulin. It doesn't cause a glycemic response. And that's why it's, we can use it on a keto diet. And we're gonna want to use um, a half a cup of this. We also want to use some cinnamon about, it's calls for two uh, teaspoons. I normally don't follow that. I put in as much as I want. It doesn't really matter because I really like cinnamon. And then we also want some vanilla extract and that's half a teaspoon. Now, all you do is just get a mixing bowl and put all the ingredients in and then you just want to mix it with your hand mixer until everything is nice and smooth. I normally cut the butter up like this just to make it easily incorporated into the rest of the ingredients instead of getting like, you know, a big lump. Next is our cream cheese. And then we'll add our sun butter in. The sun butter is made from uh, ground up sunflower seeds. And it was really funny because the first time Wayne tasted this, he said it reminded him of sunflower seeds. And I said, that's because that's what the sun butter is made out of. And then your half a cup of sweetener. And I think I might have said a half a teaspoon of the vanilla extract is actually one teaspoon. All right, and with the cinnamon, put as much in there as you like. All right, and then we just need to mix everything together. I normally like to mix it a few times just to make sure all the butter and the cream cheese are well incorporated into, into um, everything else. Sometimes the cream cheese doesn't really want to incorporate very well, so you get big chunks of cream cheese. All right, this is what it looks like when it's done. Everything's kind of well incorporated together. Now what you're gonna wanna do after this 
you're going to want to like cover it with something like um, saran wrap and then just put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and let it chill. And once that's done, we'll take it out and we'll form them into cute little balls. She cleaned it up better than that. All right, so the next uh, delicious fat bomb we're gonna make is called a French toast fat bomb. You'll see that a lot of the ingredients that we're gonna use in this is very similar to what we used in the cinnamon roll uh, fat bomb recipe. With the exception of, we are going to be using some sugar-free maple syrup. And it's sweetened with the same, well, it's sweetened with monk fruit sweetener. And I believe you can buy this on Amazon. You can also buy the monk fruit sweetener on Amazon as well. Um, I think I also found this at Meyer. And we're gonna be using a little bit of uh, maple flavored extract. But the other ingredients are all the same as from the cinnamon roll fat bomb. So we're gonna take our stick of butter. Again, I'm just going to cut it up into little pieces. And you're gonna need a, another eight ounce thing of Philadelphia cream cheese or any kind of cream cheese that you want. All I have to say though, it's kind of interesting. So ever since we started doing the, the keto diet, um, the way that I do my grocery shopping has changed of course. Um, I used to buy like a lot of the cheaper brands like either Walmart brand or Kroger brand. Well, I found with the cream cheese that the Philadelphia cream cheese actually has less carbs than the Kroger brand or the Walmart brand. So I ended up going with the Philadelphia cream cheese. Half a cup of sun butter or almond butter. We're gonna use a third cup of the um, sugar-free maple syrup. And we're gonna use a third cup of the um, keto-friendly sweetener, monk fruit sweetener. That's what we're using. Woo, very messy process. We're gonna use one teaspoon of the vanilla extract, one tablespoon of the maple extract. <laughs> Sorry, one teaspoon, not tablespoon. That would be a huge difference. Smells like maple syrup. All right, and then we mix everything together. Very similar process to the last one that we made. And here we go. This is what it looks like all incorporated. Looks very similar to the cinnamon roll one. So you really just want it to be kind of like a um, creamy consistency. You want to make sure there isn't really like a lot of chunks of cream cheese or butter um, that isn't well incorporated into everything else. You want to make sure that all the um, sugar is incorporated into everything. Just all of the solids stuff you want to make sure is well incorporated together. Um, so you kind of want to have like a creamy consistency. Okay, so what we want to do at, with this after we've done mixing everything together, we want to put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And then once it's done hardening up, we'll take it out and we'll um, form little uh, balls with it, just like with the cinnamon rolls. So here's what the cinnamon roll looks like um, when it's done chilling in the freezer. It's kind of firm, it hardened up a little bit. And here's the French toast fat bomb that was uh, left to harden in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And it has roughly the same consistency as well. And we really just wanted to kind of firm up a little bit so that it's easier to form into nice little balls. And the way that I normally scoop them out is I like to use a melon baller. These things really come in handy. It makes it a little easier to scoop out. So I just get about that much. And then I just put it in a pan. The reason why I'm putting it in like a cake pan is because it has to go back into the freezer for 45 minutes. And the cookie sheets that we have are too large to fit into my freezer. And this is pretty much just what you do. I try to do one layer, but if I can't, if I have to do a second layer, I'll put some parchment paper in between the balls that I already have formed. You know, start a second layer doing using um, the parchment paper. Okay, I normally do something like that to start my second layer. Mm, French toast. 
All right. And then we just want to put them in the freezer for about 45 minutes. And then they're good to go. French toast, fat bumps, and the cinnamon roll fat bumps. Do I have peanut butter on my face? So the last uh, keto fat bomb that we're going to show you today is going to be a lot different than the ones that we showed you previously. Um, this one is a peanut butter fat bomb. So as you probably already know, we're gonna need to use some natural peanut butter. I got the creamy kind. You just want some peanut butter that um, doesn't have any sugar added in it. And we're also going to use some coconut oil. And then we're gonna use some ground cinnamon. Um, we're gonna use some vanilla extract and maple syrup, and then some a little bit of sea salt. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half a cup of the coconut oil. We're gonna put it in a uh, microwave safe bowl because we're going to be microwaving the coconut oil and the peanut butter until it's uh, melted. And then we have two thirds cup of the peanut butter. So once we have that stuff combined in there, we're just gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. We're going to pull it out, mix it together, and then if it still needs some more time, we'll put it in there a little bit longer until it's completely melted. So here's what it looks like for the 30 seconds. I'm gonna mix it together. I don't know if it needs to be uh, put in the microwave any longer. What do you think, Wayne? It looks oily. Looks pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, I think the 30 seconds was good. We're gonna add a teaspoon of the ground cinnamon, but you know, I just add as much as you want because I like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna add uh, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two, whew, that's rich. We're gonna add one tablespoon of our sugar-free maple syrup. Emily and I noticed after we were done cooking these they came out just a little bit better. So if you could maybe just add some monk fruit sweetener to it right here during the process, it'll make it a little bit better. If you do like bitter things, I wouldn't worry about it. They came out just fine. I bet this is gonna taste like um, peanut butter fudge. And then we're gonna add a little bit of uh, sea salt. And then we're gonna mix everything up. All right, so we're really not sure how this is gonna turn out since I've never really made this before. So it looks kind of, you know, runny and really liquidy, which I assume that's how it's supposed to be. So um, the directions actually calls for you to evenly distribute it into like a silicone little cupcake mold. Um, I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to use a um, Pyrex glass, a small one, and um, it's supposed to stay in the freezer for an hour. Hopefully it'll solidify. And then once that's done, I'm hoping we can just take it out and cut it into pieces. Kind of like fudge. So here goes. It smells like fudge. All right, so I'm just gonna put a lid on it and put it in the freezer for an hour. And after that, we'll see how it turns out. So it's been more than an hour that we let this um, peanut butter fat bomb uh, freeze in the freezer. And this is what it turned out looking like. So I'm just going to try to cut it into pieces uh, like you would if you were making fudge. So let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, this cuts easy. Mm, let's try it. It's like peanut butter fudge. All right, here are the peanut butter fat bombs. It's a lot like uh, peanut butter fudge. Not as sweet though. Well, that's it. It was pretty easy to make. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. 
Um, if you guys decide to try these, let us know in the comments below. Also let us know if there's any other kind of fat bombs out there that you've tried that you really liked because we're always looking for new recipes to give a try. Um, there's gonna be a link in the description below to the website where we got these uh, recipes from. Um, they also have tons of other recipes as well, so feel free to give those a try. If you did like this, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, uh, give a thumbs up, and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.